Hey guys, what's up? We're going to be looking at this awesome animated story because I haven't done one of these in a while. So we're going to be looking at how Among Us, the game where I did two videos on, ruined her family's life. So we're going to be looking at this. I'm sorry I'm a little bit hyped up. I just wanted to do some of these videos. I love recording. It's very interesting for me. That's why we do weekly uploads. Or not weekly, every weekday uploads. I'm Dahlia. My life was pretty much normal until my family and I made the huge mistake of playing an Among Us game. It completely ruined my family to the point where my mom and dad don't speak to each other anymore. If you're wondering how it came down to that, stay tuned until the end of the video. Just like any other kid in Among Us boomed, I played it a ton. So let me get this straight. Among Us really caused a fight like this. A, t a harmless game that everybody plays, including me, would ruin her family. We're going to take a look at this. We're going to have a little coffee, so that way I don't get angry. I know it's cold, because it's later on in the daytime. But in the morning, it was hot. With my friends. We'd have so much fun, and I'd really love being the imposter and winning games. I was especially good at being a detective, too. And my friends would always say I was so big-brained whenever I cracked the case on who the imposter was. But before I go on... So... Alright, so anyway, in case you didn't know, let's react to this. The question is, why did she become a pro all of a sudden? Even I, even I hardly ever win an Among Us game. And I, and I play it. Oh, not right now. Right now, I'm basically into, like, Minecraft. I just got Minecraft done. So this Friday, a new episode of Star Wars Planet. And I also play Roblox. But I play Roblox a lot more than Minecraft now. I don't know why. I just find Roblox interesting. The oof sound, it's not really annoying to me. It's very fun. My favorite versions, my favorite kinds of games in the Roblox is um, the Obby games. But I also got my own games. So if you guys go to my my username, it's the same thing as my Fortnite username, Michael Star Wolf Nine. You guys can go add me there if you want. Just don't ask me any personal information. I will not give it to you. You anybody who asks me personal information on my Roblox account, I will delete their their question and I will block them. I do not want to give anyone my personal info, and that's not my rule. That's I mean, that should be a rule for everybody, unless you know them. Right, and hit that notification bell. So you don't miss out on any more awesome stories. Naturally, I wanted my family to play with me too to see how they would do in the game. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. But I have seven other siblings. Crazy, right? There's Dixie, Dario, Daisy, Dylan, Dipper, Edie, and the youngest, Bob. Um, you're probably wondering why everyone except Bob has a name starting with D. But supposedly my parents got so fed up by the time... I got a reference for that one. The Loud House, where all the everybody in the family is loud except the mom, which is Rita. Not Lita Loud, Rita. There's Lori, Lenny, Luna, Luann, Lynn, Lincoln, Lucy, Lola, Lana, Lisa, and Lily. Yes, I can say all the names of the Loud siblings by heart because I watched the show. I like The Loud House, and I like it more than SpongeBob. But the fact that it replaced the Fairly Odd Parents, which has been airing since 2001 and since 2017, no new episodes have aired. I think The Loud House is kind of similar to the Fairly Odd Parents. So there was a rumor that they were going to do a crossover, but that has never been established because of the because of the time period SpongeBob that takes place in and the Loud House. Loud House takes place in like the 2010s. You know, where they got touchscreen phones and, you know, cars, where Spongebob has a shell phone, which is a parody of the um, landmine. Time they had Bob, that they just couldn't be bothered to think of another name beginning with D. Anyways, one day I asked my family to come play a game of Among Us together, and we all got ready in the living room. It was also perfect since there were ten of us, so we could have a full game. We got our phones out, sat on the couch together, but positioned ourselves so we couldn't see each other's screens and cheat. And we also all wore earphones, so no one could hear us doing our tasks or hear any of us kill someone either. 
the first game was pretty funny. No one really knew how to play the game. <laughs> no, I think that's very funny that they're dressed up like Among Us skins. Looks, they look like they're dressed up like Among Us skins. If you guys don't know what that is, you guys can totally check it out. I got two videos on it. Among, I think it's the first Among Us live stream and Among Us live stream before Valentine's Day. We'll do another one eventually, just not this week because it will be Star Wars Planet. So it was mostly just a bunch of us goofing around and having fun. Why are you playing Among Us on a computer? That's not. That's kind of hard to control on a computer. Why don't you have an iPhone and play Among Us? Come on. I don't think computers are a little easier. I can barely play Fortnite on my PC without it lagging, and I hate the. I hate my Windows 10 because of that. But I do like it, like some ways. I like Windows 7, Windows XP, and, you know, Windows 2000. That's why that's business-oriented. And we managed to have some pretty wild and intense games. Like, one time it came down to a 50-50 with three people left. Myself, Dixie, and Bob. Dixie was saying that Bob had killed in front of her, while Bob said Dixie had killed in front of him. I wasn't sure who it was, but when I looked at Dixie, I immediately knew it was her. Don't tell her this. Although, if she sees this video, she'll probably find out anyways. Sorry, Dixie. But Dixie has a tell whenever she lies. She always scratches her earlobe. And she was doing it then. I voted off Dixie, and we won the game. Then came another intense one versus two game. I was the imposter this time. And I was trying to convince my mom that Dad had killed someone. Dad tried to defend himself and say it was actually me who had been killed. But then mom just suddenly voted for dad, and the crewmates lost the game. I was happy since I had won as an imposter, but then I froze because- I think that was like hilarious. Like, her mom voted her dad out when clearly it was her daughter that was, that's the host of this video. <laughs> In case you guys didn't know, there is a pot imposters. I think I was the imposter like once or twice. I don't know. I didn't do it in a video. But, you know, I don't really play Among Us much anymore. I want to play it again eventually, but just, you know, not now. Suddenly, Mom and Dad were arguing. You never trust me, yelled Dad. He was red in the face. Of course I don't trust you, replied Mom quietly. Oh, Dad snap. So here comes a Jerry Springer moment. In case you don't know what the Jerry Springer is, it's, a, it's trash TV. I have recordings of it. It's basically like, just like what they're fighting now. They're, it's like a show where couples like to fight. Like something like, you slept with my brother. That's the Jerry Springer show kind of stuff. But for family-friendly content, I'm not going to show that. As the Jerry Springer show contains a lot of content that I'm not going to show on, my, on this channel. I'm not even going to react to it. Like, it's so violent. It has nudity and everything that I cannot show it. I mean, you know, YouTube limits the community guidelines. Like, if they take away the rule against no nudity or no age restriction, I probably would be able to show it. But I'm not going to do it now because my channel's family-friendly, age 13 and up. And so I don't want to get – I do not want to get any age-restricted videos right now. I'm trying to keep the channel age restricted by doing more safer reactions like animated story videos. You know exactly what it means. Mom, Dad, why are you fighting? It's just a game of Among Us. Don't take it seriously. You made us lose the game. Dad yelled at Mom again. You deserved it. Mom yelled back. Sarah, not in front of the kids. Come on, replied Dad sternly. Don't Sarah me. Ugh, I can't deal with you. That's what? it. I I'm moving out. What? My siblings and I all screamed at once. Sarah, Dad said in shock, don't do this. Oh my goodness. Now this is getting very intense. You guys, are, you guys don't even know how violent this is going to get. Good thing it's animated because, you know, animated stories, they're supposed to be like fake. I know this content ain't real, guys. Star Wolf is my last name, but I kind of use it as the last name. I kind of... All right, let's get out of this video. I'm not going to get sidetracked by talking about my channel name. I've had enough. I won't let you treat me like this anymore. We're through. I'm filing for divorce. And with those last words, my mom went upstairs to her bedroom and started filling up a bag with her things. You know, if I was still doing children's books, this would technically be a very good topic. Parents, 
how to deal with divorce or something like that. I don't write any of those anymore. I'm not into writing children's books anymore. However, I might eventually, if my music career doesn't really go down, but it's been like improving since then. I've been doing more bubblegum pop, but you know. My siblings and I immediately asked dad what was wrong, but he wouldn't say anything. He just stormed outside and took off in his car to vent out. My siblings and I had no idea what to do. Why had mom and dad started fighting all of a sudden? How could it get- I don't know, but this is getting me very thirsty. Time to have another cup of coffee because I'm so thirsty with all this violence. <sighs> Tasty coffee. Of upon us have ruined my family so quickly. It didn't make any sense. I told you I was a good detective, right? Well, I couldn't seem to figure out the mystery of this case. It was just a game. Surely mom and dad wouldn't have been so butthurt over that. They were logical people. Who will we live with? asked Dylan. I don't know. How can we choose between mom and dad? asked Dee Dee. Maybe mom is just joking? I said. She'll probably come You back know, soon. speaking of Dee Dee, I, if I was a girl, my mom was actually going to name me Dee Dee. But yet I became a boy and I chose my, and my mom chose my father's name for it. But I wonder how life would have been if I was a girl and I'd be called Dee Dee. I don't know what I I wouldn't be going like this. I'm not, you know, I don't know what you guys think, but there are some emos out there. I'm getting off topic, but I really want to talk about this. You know, emos, my family does have some emo DNA in them. You know, my sister, Sammy, she's actually an emo herself. She's not my sister from, from the same mother. You know, that kind of rhymes. <laughs> and, you know. My sister is emo now, but, you know, for some reason, I didn't inherit the emo side. You know, her favorite store is Hot Topic at the mall. I went to the mall with her, and she chose Hot Topic for to go. Well, I recommended GameStop, which is my favorite store in the mall, because, you know, I'm not an emo. I'm a I'm an gamer. All right, let's get on with the video. With all of Frank, right? But she didn't. Well, she came back downstairs, but not to say it was a prank. She came back down with her bag of belongings and her car keys. When she saw all of us gathered in the living room, she looked sad. I'm sorry, my darlings, she said, but I just don't love your father anymore. I'm moving out. I already have an apartment ready. But mom, they said in surprise, it was just a game. I I'm sure dad was just a little angry because of the game. But mom just smiled sadly and walked away. You can choose who you want to live with she called over as she left my apartment isn't as big as this house but it's your choice at the end my siblings decided to flip a coin we felt sorry for both of them and didn't want to leave them on their own i ended up living with my dad with three of my other siblings while four others went to live with mom it was so weird being separated like this especially since it was so sudden every day after mom moved out i wished i could have turned back time to stop us from playing the Among Us game that ruined my family. The worst thing was, Mom and Dad both tried to pretend nothing had happened. They acted like everyone was just perfect, when it so clearly wasn't. And neither of them wanted to talk about the fact that- So, now we know that Among Us literally ruined her family's life. This game literally caused the fighting and the bickering, and you know, this shit is like, this shit turned out to be a very, very violent game and it turned out that these parents divorced. That's how you know that Among Us ruined her family. They had divorced over an Among Us game either. It was ridiculous. I also miss living with all of my siblings. It was great having so many brothers and sisters. But now that half of them were gone, I was a little lonely. And of course I missed my mom. Sure, dad is great. But of course, a daughter is going to miss her mom. Life was pretty miserable, and I decided it was stupid of where my parents have separated over a game of Among Us. So I made a plan with my siblings to get my parents back together. First, we had to somehow get them at the same house. My mom and dad weren't speaking at all, so that was going to be tricky. To do that, Dixie had the bright idea to tell mom that she had left some stuff at the house, and she needed to come back to pick them up. Dixie told mom that dad was out at work, when in fact, she was lying. Dad was at home. We weren't sure Mom would take the bait, but sure enough, she came over with a bag, ready to grab the stuff she had supposedly left behind. 
When mom entered the house, however, she was shocked to find all of her children gathered in the living room again. Dad was upstairs and had no clue what we were planning. Mom, please take a seat, I said. Mom seemed so confused, but she could tell we were all serious, so she took a seat. What's going on? She asked. So now they're going to try to fix what the, what the Game of Among Us did to her family. We're going to see what's going to happen now. Said formally. Then I ran upstairs quickly and dragged Dad down into the living room. Dolia, what are you... Said Dad, but then froze as he saw Mom was there. Sarah, why are you here? I believe our children tricked me, said Mom coldly. I forced Dad onto the couch, and then I explained everything. Look, we just can't accept that you two are separated. And over an Among Us game? Seriously? And so to resolve your issues, we have decided there's no better way than to have another game of Among Us to prove to you that you still love each other. And a silly game shouldn't be able to break you up. Mom and Dad had their mouths open and were... So that's how they're going to fix it? They're going to fix... The game, a game of Among Us that separated the family with a, another game of Among Us to save their family. So they're going to try to save it with with, a, with something that, that split them in the first place. We're staring in shock. Wait, do you think we broke up because of that Among Us game? Said Mom in disbelief. Honey, that's not why we broke up, said Dad. I hesitated. Wait. It isn't? This is why? But the rest of my sentence was snatched away when I heard the door open. I did a quick head count of the room and confirmed there were ten of us here. So, who was the stranger coming into our house? We were all sort of frozen as we waited for the newcomer to enter the living room. And when she did, let me tell you, it was not who we could have imagined. It was my science teacher. My hot science teacher. She was pretty young, like only 25 years old or something. And all the guys in my class were pretty much in love with her. She was so beautiful, too. You know, that's fantasy. If, so, if, so, guys, come below this. If you guys saw a, a smoking hot teacher, this is for the males in the, on the channel. If you see a smoking hot teacher at school, would you guys just literally just casually ask her out? Or would you guys just wait until you're old enough? I need to know this. Come on. I really got to know this. And I could see why they liked her. But what was she doing here at my dad's house? It wasn't like we'd invited her. Miss Barry? I cried out in surprise. What are you doing here? Miss Barry looked just as shocked as we were. Um, I'm looking for Harold. Then she spotted my dad in the living room and smiled. Sweetie pie! She squealed. And then she rushed forward and hugged my dad and then kissed him on the mouth. My siblings stared in horror. Miss Barry, that's my fa- So let me get this straight. Among Us didn't ruin her family. But the reason why they divorce is because the dad is cheating on her? Harold is cheating on his wife with the teacher? Oh my goodness. That is literally so freaking messed up, man. Like, so messed up. You're going to cheat on your wife with a teacher. I mean, who would do that? I thought you were going to be together with your wife for all eternity. But you're just going to casually cheat on the t her teacher. Come on. That's really not right, man. Father, I explained. He is? She asked in confusion. Wait, then, then she looked at my mom, who had turned away in disgust. Sully, this is why your father and I divorced, said Mom sadly. Wait, said Miss Barry. Harold, you're married and you have kids. My dad looked so uncomfortable. Well, you see, suddenly Mom shot up and bolted out of the house crying. I ran after her and tried to comfort her. Your dad cheated on me, Dahlia. I saw them at the restaurant kissing. When I confronted him, he tried to pretend that I was hallucinating and that I was the one at fault. That's why we divorced. So now we're going to get to the... Now this part is getting very juicy, guys. So let's get... We're going to skip on forward to this portion. Just to make it shorter. If you hadn't come here, replied my dad, how did you even know where I live? I googled it, said Miss Barry. Harold, this is unacceptable. She started to... Wow, what a stalker. You're going to Google Harold's address on Google Maps. Did you really think you're you're not gonna be you're not gonna be called a stalker by her? I'm like a teacher again. I can't be 
be with you anymore. I feel disgusted. Now that I know you cheated on your wife with me, that's it. We're over. Then Miss Barry turned to me. Where's your mother? I must apologize immediately. She left, I said. I wasn't sure how I felt about my science teacher anymore. Oh, please tell her I wanted to speak with her. I'm so, so sorry, said Miss Barry. I nodded, and then Miss Barry left. Meanwhile, my siblings and I all turned towards my father in anger. All right, guys, I'm going to end it right here because I know it's getting very long. So, anyway, guys, that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys want me to do more animated stories, which will be every Tuesday below out, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know whenever I upload. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.